Today we talked about being a workaholic. I don't know if you are one, but I'm sure you know some. And you know, people are workaholics because a lot of times they're trying to impress other people. They're trying to gain more status, more money, more power. But God doesn't want us to live our lives trying to impress a bunch of people. As a matter of fact, the Bible says, what would it profit a man if he gained the whole world and he lost his soul? A few years ago in San Antonio, it was a really hot day, it was about 99 degrees outside, a lady had locked her 10-month-old in the car. She was frantic, she was upset, the baby was screaming, her face, the baby was getting redder and redder and more upset, and the mom was running around the car yelling, help, help, help. Well, a guy in a tow truck comes by and, and he hops out and she says, can you get my baby out of the car? So he real quickly grabs a crowbar, he smashes in a window, opens the door, gets the baby out and he saves the day. And in the newspaper article, they said, well, I bet that lady really looked at you as being her hero. He said, well, as a matter of fact, when I handed her the, her baby, she looked at me and she said, why did you break my window? I don't know about you, but I think that lady might have her Priority's a little confused there because that baby's life is definitely worth much more than a broken window. So is your life. God loves you with an everlasting love. You don't have to impress a bunch of people. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that you are the apple of his eye, which means that you're something special to him. You're so special that he sent his son Jesus to die for you. And the Bible says no greater has love has anyone than this, than they lay down their life for their friend. So I wanna encourage you today, don't try to impress other people. Instead, have this relationship with God. Realize that He loves you. Realize that He accepts you the way that you are and you don't have to impress anybody. You don't have to work so hard to make a big name for yourself because God already knows your name.